We must be broadcasting. It says stop recording when I click. <clears throat> this is Norman Woodstock Spotting. Thank you, YouTube. I'm a bare bones broadcaster. So my network is the Skeleton Nation Network. And you can see why. I just address myself as I is. And this is I is. Bare bones and skeleton. I'm not much of the, but I, listen, it's how much you can afford to spend for the technology. You know, if I, this stuff is within my price range, only you have to somewhat work. More, I just say, uh, dexterity. A little more dexterity craft involved using this equipment to try to put on a broadcast. That's what I do. Radio broadcaster. Don't like the idea of a camera. I could block it. It's for the... I just like to speak to a microphone on YouTube. I don't know if they have... But I'd like to have it viewed in an audience that possibly is more challenged than some of the radio audiences that are happening today. The audiences that are going to radio in some cases have pretty much already framed their whole existence and they're not learning or changing many opinions as an audience. And when I say changing opinions, you just back up and develop it and your your opinion doesn't change. It really doesn't. Even though I am a I when I look back at my life I'm so green and naive I of course, my opinions changed. 180 on Mr. Bush and just lots of things. Military. I can't tell you how much my opinions changed on all kinds of things. Only at the same time, I have the same genuine about my opinion that I had all my life. So it's not like I was deceiving at one time and not now in terms of my opinion. If anything, I deceived those that didn't have the mutualness about not only my opinion, the position I witness. That I, my, it's not so much I have an opinion, I have a position witness and I try to live there. I don't have an opinion. I really don't. Even though they go, opinions are lying, everyone has one. Well, I try not to opinion. I don't think that's worth sharing. Who cares about your opinion? I try to hold, share something of more merit than that. I'm giving you my opinion. I, if I did, I, if anything, it's, um, uh, it's straight at my maker and it's not to you anyway. I take my opinion to my maker and put a scar on his neck. If you get in my opinion, it's called, I am crushed that this agony is here and that humans have such a great pleasure in causing more inconvenience to each other to increase the agony. Man asked me to break my code of uh, competence with another man and give him his phone number. When I refused, to, I, I said, I want to consider it anyway. He's already done that with me. He doesn't think much of me and he's treating me with such disrespect. i got to think about that. That's, you know what he said? I won't be your friend and help you anymore if you, if you won't do that for me. I said, well, why do you want it? What do you, it's none of your business. Give me this guy's phone number and I ain't telling you what I want to talk to him about. And tells me that it's because of my emotional outbursts. That's why he's punishing me and won't be my friend and help me anymore. Well, it didn't come up until I questioned the validity of breaking a code of honor or basically a privacy of someone's phone number without their permission. I find that graphic hypocrisy. How about you? And I find it going on all the time. Your Congress is full of it. The way they extort each other into voting in this way and that, shameful. And they let the lobbyists push them into the mindset to do it. And the lobbyists pushed into the mindset that the people hiring him. And there's too much so-called non-profit getting out of it behind that. And they're taking their life and 
getting out of it with employment. They're not contributing their life. They're not duty bound. Only when they're like players only play you when they're getting paid to do it. Once they ain't getting paid, they don't play at all. In fact, they tell you to get away from them. They're sick of playing anybody, and that's really all they know how to do. They played somebody to get the position in employment. They play people in employment. They go home, and they're tired of playing anybody. Now, some of them playing all their life. I mean, all 24 hours a day. Some don't. You'd be surprised how many playing people are genuine. Or you're going to get in trouble. When genuine people play people. Woo! For a living. And play the scene. And play the best interest of the nation. And really do some playing. Panamining, pandering, the misunderstanding. For a living. A lot of people doing it. Mm -hmm. Think it'll work. In a collapsing fiscal, not economy. Your economy is not collapsing. Your fiscal is a big difference. I'll be back. Bear Broadcasting, Norwood Sox, Baldwin.